All right, cruising north here in Key Largo over to Dan's house. We got a fun day planned. Um, we got a bally hoop net that we're gonna test out and see if we can catch some ballyhoo with it. And we plan on running out of Adam's Cut and running offshore. I heard some reports of there being some mai around 550 feet. So I think we'll go out, find that depth, and then find some seaweed patches, cast on those, troll around those, and try to get some wahoo and some mahi and some tuna in the boat. Yeah, that's a big yeah. old net there. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like, I'd say what, like three feet across? Yeah. Pretty light. Yeah, there is. Oh yeah, you kind of push on it a little bit. Push on it a little bit. So it comes all rigged up. Nice. Everything goes inside. It's Everything ready goes for over. its case. Yeah, the other thing that I thought about was is when we're out there, right? We're usually chumming. So I wonder if it gets all full of chum. You just gotta come back and clean it. Yeah. So let's go look around. Let's go see what we can do. <laughs> just lay it on the T top. I'm sure it'll yeah, stay up there. Just lay it up there. Put it maybe here. Or between the two coolers, as long as it doesn't get crushed. Oh, yeah. There it is. There she blows. Many chubs. Hmm. Well, I might have a clamato while I wait, or a chilada. Down she goes. Yeah, I feel good about this spot. Better than I felt about the other spoon. Even though I felt pretty good about the other spoon. <laughs> Boom, snip, snap. How long is that black rope that I came with? Because the ballyhoo are... They're in, the, oh. they're in the zone? Kind of, they're kind of far, they're not cast netting zone, but they might be ballyhoopable zone. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. Holy crap, that's like a straight up sail. For now, so we got to get it somehow under them because they're all. Yeah. So I guess you get it just behind them. Yep. Let them. <laughs> chaos. <laughs> Total chaos. They're way the hell out there, man. 
They're like over here on the left. I'm not swimming away from it. Alright, throw some more of that stuff in there. Let's see now. Here we go. Here we go, brother. Put them on this side. Yep. Yep. Oh! Oh, they're in front of it. Yeah, they keep going in and out of it. Alright! We got one so far. <laughs> Alright! Because we're inexperienced, but so far yeah. we got one. All right. Hey, this is a good start. I'll All just right. pop them right into pop the. Pop them right uh, in, and then you're supposed to be able to touch them. There we go. Boom! One, one in the net. One ballyhoo. That was the first ballyhoo. First, first try. All right, now we got to. And they're out of cast netting distance too. Oh yeah, so there's no way so, we would have gone over the cast net. Yeah, unless there is like a Rambo that can throw it 40 feet. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. All right, that's. Uh, I could, I can see this thing working real good if they were thick. If they were in, yeah. And close. Yeah, this is the deal. Right now, they're not in thick. Nope. Whoops. Well. Right. <laughs> Cough. Oh, you got one. Did I? Yep. <laughs> All right, one at a time. We'll do one at a time. <laughs> so far, I would not say that this is the net's fault, that, that we're only getting onesies. Yeah, no, I think... You just can't get them in thick enough today. And that's got some good pull on it too. It's like an underwater sail. I, I think, I think as long, yeah, as long as you got current, we're good. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I even get them with it? Yeah, you got, zip out. You, got oh, you got one. You got one. We're working. We're working for our bait. <laughs> one at a time. There is like three or four in front of it though, but I saw them freaking out. Uh, maybe, maybe it's me. I mean, it didn't do it fast enough. All right. Learning. I th oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Full speed! Woo! Best one yet! Oh, the oh, one got out. You see him get out? You still got three though. Rat got out. Would have been four. All right, so the trick is really you got to haul this baby in. Yeah. All right. <laughs> got that. Nice. That was good. That was good. Yeah. Full speed! <laughs> Oh, that looks pretty good. All right, there's about five in there. Yeah. Big horsey in there. All right. Nice. Beautiful. If they were like a lot of them around. Yeah, if, if they were in thick, we'd probably get like 20 every time. I want this thing in really fast before they swim. I mean, before they swim. Yeah. All right, this was nice. Oh, yeah. That's five, right? So listen, here's the deal. That's we good. would be catching like so many more if they were in thick, but this has been a day when we just couldn't get them rustled up. So this is fabulous. Yeah, and they go right into the live well, which is great. Yeah. Well, shoot, it's been like 15 minutes and we already got a live well full. Yeah, we got like, yeah, exactly. So I'm thinking one more and then we're out of here. What do you think? Yeah. And then off to the Mai, <laughs> the Wahoo. Ooh. All right, this is it, last haul. Yeah. We gotta go fishing. Yeah, we gotta go fishing. Although if we convinced ourselves that Ballyhoo are good eating this, <laughs> you could call this fishing. Right, this is fishing of a sort. All right. Overall assessment of this uh, Ballyhoo, what do you think? I like it. I'm ready to like use it in a real situation with Ballyhoo close to the boat, but. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think this is the winner. This saved us for that. Without oh this, yeah, they been saved our asses. We wouldn't have been able to cast net to those no, guys. There's no way. They were like 30 feet off the, off the back of the boat. There it is. Nice. Beauty ring. Get back home later on and rinse it off. Yeah, he's good at doing that. Yeah.
got a big fish. I don't know. Well, they swam to the bottom. Could you tell with that one? I guess not. No, I, I couldn't tell. I thought it was a, another turtle, so I didn't bother looking too hard. Yeah. That looks like a big trash can. That's a garbage can, right? Yeah, big garbage can. Oh yeah, there's fish on it. Yeah, I thought I saw something. Oh yeah, I see him. Yep. I think those are oh, triple tail. Right That's not what I think it is. Those are bar jacks, I think. Oh. Um, this might be a good place to troll around. Like, yeah, maybe. But, oh, we should get those triple tails. You see triple tails? Yeah, there's oh, huge yeah. ones. We don't have any shrimp. They love shrimp. wonder if they would eat a little ballyhoo chunk. It's triple tail. Another triple tail. Coming, he's coming right at us. We're his new structure. I should put a net down and just grab him. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> we are his new structure. I do like that shit. That's funny. There might be a big one uh, like inside the bucket. Here comes another two more triple tail. Right. Oh, look at all this life. Yeah, this is one. Y'all own because of this. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> they keep biting it. I get, I get whacked by them. Triple tail, but I don't think triple tail would eat anything other than uh, I may be wrong, but I always thought they were shrimp guys. Oh, here we go. Barjack. Bar God, look at all the triple tail. Holy. Is there anything inside this bucket? Hey, there's a triple tail in here. No, nah, he's small, but it's kind of funny. All right, so we found a garbage can. The thing is, what do we do with the garbage can? That's the key. Yeah, you're right. He's got a chunk out of him, too, man. Somebody it, it. Well, there might be like a big wahoo under it. Well, that's, that is very true. So, yeah, if you want to do some... Uh... Especially with this bar jack freaking out up here, they're probably watching. They're like, what's going on up there? <laughs> yeah, that should get something fired up. I totally agree, man. Something's got to come up and really whack it. I'm going to keep my vertical jig on here, too. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuna, man, big time. Down it goes. My vertical jig is shooting down like a rocket. It's crazy. <laughs> They're attacking my fishing line. Yeah, these bar jacks are legit attacking my line. <laughs> I thought I was on. No, I was on something. Oh, I'm... Oh, no. I'm on a bar jack. Two bar jacks. Well, if we were starving, this would be great. Hmm. Yeah, I got another bar jack. Yeah, goodbye.
to hit all right. Bit your hook off. No way. Hey, you still have it? Yeah, there's no hook. Huh. So you took the hook. Some big old seaweed patches. Yeah. I didn't see any bait. I don't see any activity on Get that one's on. Yep, yep. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Mm, about time. Oh, right. oh. Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We only, we only need one of us to land <laughs> at this point. He's not a small fish. Well, they both hit the little, the little ones all the way back. So if I had a guess, I'm going to say it's a tuna. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> this is going to get interesting. It sure is. Alright, so you're, you're almost in, right? That's you coming in. Yep, you? yep. I'm almost in. I'm going to bring it up here on the side. <sighs> Please be a black fin and not a bonita. I should be okay. Oh, please don't cross that other line. Yes, I got under the lines. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> oh, it's a bit of It's a my. It's a my. No way. Oh, he just took off. What is it? Actually, maybe it's not. Is it, a big it could be. All right. <laughs>
Oh, big, big bonita. Oh, I got one too, man. Yep. Big bonita. I'll keep him though for uh, deep drop baits and stuff. Yep, I got you. Whew. Did you happen? Where'd you do I just, I just whipped him right in the boat. Thank you. Yep, I said. Oh, you got to Yep, I got to do a lot. Big bonitos. Yeah, they are big. It's a heavy bonita, man. I thought for sure that thing was on. Hey, that was fun? Yeah, that was fun. Oh, needed that. Needed that rush. <sighs> yeah, your thing was marking some fish under the boat, so I'm going to drop this guy down real quick here. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. This not is. Um, I don't know. <laughs> this is gonna come out. Has to come out. All right. Come on, Yellowtail. Just gonna chuck it way back. Got it, what you got? Oh, oh, it got off, whatever it was. Could have been a Yellowtail though. Maybe. <laughs> oh, it. Oh, I got something. Better reel in quick. <laughs> oh crap. Oh yeah. Blue runner. Oh. Something broke me off again. What is doing that to me? Oh. Who is doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I felt like a little tug and then all of a sudden it went slack, so that was weird. Maybe the barracuda is eating all my little chunks. Mackerel too, right? Little yeah, a little mackerel. Oh, thought I had something there for a second. Could have sworn that was a fish. I'm not going to go fishing all day on a boat and not come back home with a catch and cook video. So this is where I'm at in my life. I got the false albacore on the cutting board. I did a little bit of research and I, I know people have told me that they eat bonitos and that they, they taste good. So I did some research and I found that this is a false albacore. The bonitos have more of a stripe pattern here that goes all the way down like this one while the false albacore has this broken squiggly line pattern on its back and unfortunately I was hoping that um, the false albacore was the one that people say is good to eat but it turns out that the bonito is actually 
favored by some su sushi chefs and it's actually you can get good sushi from it but i don't even have that one i just have this one which is i guess the most frowned upon one i was walking through Publix and i went to their tuna can section and there's all these tuna cans that said uh white albacore on it some just said albacore some even have had a picture of a tuna that looked kind of similar to this one which kind of makes me wonder is is this the tuna that you buy in stores that comes in the can i'm not sure but it kind of seems like it so how bad can it really be i'm not gonna eat too much of it i'm just gonna cut off two pieces i didn't even bleed this thing properly because i didn't think i was gonna eat it but here i am when i was leaving dan's house he's like heiko you're gonna eat this thing aren't you and i was like oh no i don't think so i also said you never know so here i am about to eat it one piece i'm gonna sear and one piece i'm just gonna eat raw with some um soy sauce and a little bit of wasabi and we'll see how it turns out cut a little prime chunk right out of the top there it is it's a little hard to tell but this meat right here is extremely red, or much darker red than the rest, so I'm going to cut that, kind of the bloodline right out of it. I managed to cut two pieces out of that, um, removed a lot of bloodline and stuff. That is too much, I'm not going to eat that. The rest of this I'm going to save. I'm actually going to probably try to make some swordfish baits with him. I'm going to use his belly and cut some strips. You could even troll with for my with this. So he is an excellent bait, but everyone says that these Atlantic or the false uh, albacores are trash fish. I guess I'm about to find out how trashy they really are. All right, it's smoking white, nice and hot. Here we go. Just a few seconds on each side. Ow! Woo! Got me. Side. All right, looks good. Okay, here it is. That's the seared tuna. This is just straight up raw or albacore, whatever you want to call it. I got some wasabi, some soy sauce. Um, <clears throat> I'm not really too happy right now and hopefully this won't be too biased of a review. And I also didn't bleed the fish so it might not be the best review. And so to be fair, I was thinking maybe in the future if I get a albacore, a bonito, and a blackfin tuna all on one plate, and I let some people blind test it, that might be a, that would be an interesting video. So I think I'm going to plan something like that. But first, let's just, let's just see how good or how bad it is. Uh, I'm going to start with, with a seared piece, because seared is usually better when at masking flavors. If it's a good tuna, I like a raw, but seared is. Do a little bit of wasabi. All right, here we go. And I'll be honest with the wasabi and the and the soy sauce. It was kind of hard to tell what it tasted like. It just tasted like... I don't know, I'm trying to get past the mental part of it right now. Alright, I'm just going to try one of these pieces. Oh, Why did I cut them so big? Kind of just taste wasabi and soy sauce. I'll just eat one raw with nothing on it. All right, here we go. Hmm. 
I mean, it's not horrible. It's mentally frustrating, though. I don't know where to go from here. This will probably be the last one I ever eat. It's like, it's probably like the equivalent of eating like a cat or a dog. Like, maybe if you don't know what it is, it might taste okay. But just knowing what you're eating is just a little dissatisfying. And I haven't been drinking today either. I can see how if you if you bled this fish properly and if you seasoned it right and salted it up and cooked it and like put in a tuna can like the ones they sell at the store, I can definitely see how someone would not be able to tell this tuna compared to any other kind of tuna. But for eating raw, it doesn't melt in your mouth like other tuna does. I don't know, the texture was kind of funny. Yeah, who knows? Um, I'm ready to catch a mahi, that's what I want. I think it's time for St. Polly's Girl. Oh, shit. Jeez, what's all? Oh, God, oh, damn it. <coughs> That's what happens when you try to open a beer one-handed, and I dropped it off camera, and then I opened it, and the next thing I know, it's blowing up in my face. All of this is for you guys. Eating that, having my beers blow up. Whoa, almost dropping my beer. I want to give a big thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching. I promise I'm going to have some real fish being put on the boat soon with the weather getting better. And thanks for watching. Cheers, everybody. Bye.